Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Bitwarden Password Manager. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, how do we start using Bitwarden? Well, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up their official website, which is going to be bitwarden.com. Now on their website, it's going to give you some information regarding Bitwarden here. So in this case, Bitwarden by general terms is a password manager. Now you can store your passwords or your details in Bitwarden here securely through their network. Now, in this case, you might be wondering, is it free? Are there any fees that you need to uh, pay here for you to start using it? Well, the thing here is when we go to their pricing page here, let's go, and go to the pricing page here, you have two options here. We have personal and business. Now, if you're going to start using it for business, like for example, you're a business owner and you want to store some passwords for your team or for your enterprise here, you can choose one of the following options. So for teams here, it's going to be $4 a month and you should be able to share sensitive data safely with coworkers across departments or the entire company. But in this case, if you're going to use the enterprise here, you'll be able to utilize advanced features like the enterprise policies, password, uh, less SSO, and account recovery here. But if you want to get a bigger scope here, you need to get a code from them. But if you're just a single person or you just want to start using it for free, well, they actually have a personal plan here, which in this case, you could basically start using it for free, which in this case, you have unlimited devices, passkey management, all the core functions, and always free. Now, you also have the premium version here, which in the, includes uh, enjoy premium fe uh, features like integration, uh, integrated authenticator, file attachments, emergency access, and security reports, and uh, more. So we also have families here, which includes six premium accounts. So if you have family members, you can share them this account here, and unlimited sharing, unlimited connection, and organization storage. Now in this case, we want to start get, uh, get started for the free plan here. Let's go and click on get started today, and it should redirect us into the sign up page. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to enter our email address, our name as, uh, as well, and a master password that we want to set for our Bitwarden account. Now you need to also retype the password and add a password hint on it. Now in this case, uh, if you want to allow the check known data breaches for this password and check this box if you agree to the following terms and service and privacy policies. In this case, let's go and fill out all the details needed here and proceed on the next page. Now once you've created your account, we are now prompt to log in. So let's go ahead and enter our email address here, click on continue, and we now need to enter our password. So let's go ahead and enter our password. Now once you've entered your password, we are now inside our password manager or Bitwarden's password manager. Now the official page for, uh, for this one is going to be vault.bitwarden.com. Now, in this case, the first thing you need to do here is we first have to uh, basically uh, verify our account email address. So in this case, let's go and click on send email here. And once we've done that, we want to check our email for any verification sent by Bitwarden. As you can see, we have Bitwarden here. Let's go and click on verify email address. And from here, we are now where our account is now verified. So let's go and reload our page here. And we now need to re-enter our password. Now, in the main menu here for uh, Bitwarden, this is what you, you'll be able to see first. So as you can see, this might be kind of confusing for you because the UI is not what you typically uh, see. So the UI is actually pretty old if you're going to compare it to other uh, types of uh, uh, apps out there but the thing here is it's actually pretty easy to understand so on the left side here we have our uh, filters so filters allows you to uh, basically organize uh, your uh, uh, your vault here so for example if you want to create a new vault you have the new organization here or if you want to create a new folder this is where you'll be able to create them but before we discuss actual the vault section here we first need to discuss the left side here in this case what is the send here well in this case uh sends here uh, actually is used to send used to send security shared encrypted information to anyone so if you want to send some encrypted data information you can go ahead and do that so in this case you need to enter the name and what file type here so for example you just want to send text and just enter to enter the text itself and from here you have the access on uh, when accessing the send hide the text by default and the copy a link option here as well 
Now, in this case, what is the tools here? Well, in this case, from the name itself, are tools that you could uh, possibly enhance to enhance the security for your account. So you have the password generator here, which in this case helps you to generate passwords or username. Okay, for example, uh, we have the what would you like to generate? So password. So password type may be a fast phrase or a password. You could go and choose that. And from here, password, uh, you should be able to indicate the link itself, minimum numbers, specials. And if you want to regenerate it, click on the regenerate here. If you want to add a special characters, make sure to click on this one and regenerate password. If you want, if you're now satisfied with the password, just click on copy password and you should be able to use it for your sign up uh, processes. Now you also have the import data here. So if you already have an existing vault, on a different computer or in a different uh, location, you should be able to import data via the section. So in this case, you have different file formats. So we have CSV, uh, we have JSON, and a lot more. Now, in this case, you should be able to uh, copy or uh, basically import the file contents here if you don't have a file. So you could either choose a file or uh, just paste the contents that you want to import. You have the export vault here, which in this case, you should be able to export your votes. So meaning you should be able to uh, have a uh, actual copy of your vote. If you want to import it, import this to a different software or in a different location, you should be able to do that. Now reports here would contain uh, your exposed passwords, reused passwords, weak passwords, and any odd type of security uh, reports that you could get. But right now it's currently in premium. So if you want to utilize those, you need to have the premium plan. Now settings from the name itself it is the settings here, which in this case you have the uh, the name for your account, the email, some security uh, information here, and uh, yeah, and a lot more. So in this case, we now need to go to our vault. So in our vault, what are the things what, what we could do here? Well, first things first, if you uh, want to create a new vault here, you just click on new organization here and you have the general information. So for example, this is going to be my work vault. So in this case, I'm going to name this one and building email is going to be this email here. And from here, you could be basically choose the plan for this specific type of vault. So currently we have the free one here, but if you want to utilize the uh, paid ones, you go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and click on submit here and we want to now create our new organization. Now from here, let's go ahead and go to work vault here. As you can see, we have our work vault and yeah. So in this case, let's go ahead and go back uh, one uh, section bit here, go to vaults. And as you can see, we now have another vault. So if you want to view your my vault section here, this is how you view it. If you want to see your my work vault, just click on it as well. Now in this case, uh, what are the other things that you could do here? So for example, if you want to add a, a new item, you could go ahead and just click on new item here or just click on the new at the top right here and just click on new item. Now item uh, by the uh, by default, it's going to be login information, but you can change this to either card. So it is in this case, if you want to save your card information, this is how you do it. Just provide your details like the name, the card holder name, the number, the security code, notes, custom fields if you have any, and option for master password reprompt if you want to view this uh, again. So we have the identity here, which includes all the information about yourself, like address, your name, your title, first name, and any personal information about yourself. Now, also have secure note here, like for example, it does not necessarily uh, part of a login process. Like for example, if you have a Wi-Fi password or a, um, a code or a uh, combination for your vault, this is where you'll be you'll be able to set uh, and save them. Like for example, the name itself, if you want to include them in a folder, uh, you should be able to choose your folder here and the actual uh, combination or uh, password for your Wi-Fi. This is where you'll be able to add them in the note section. So in this case, just click on save to save those changes. Now, in this case, if you want to uh, use the login here, again, you just need to indicate the name for uh, for this account, the username, and the password itself, and authenticator key or TOTP if you had those. Now, you also have the URI here, which in this case is going to be uh, the uh, a website where it's actually uh, related to so the username and password for that website so you also have additional notes here if you want to add notes on it and it, again custom fields here if you want to further customize your uh, login field here as well so just click on save at the bottom left to save those 
Now, if you want to save like a folder and organize your uh, Bitwarden here a lot more, just click on new here, just click on folder and you should be able to t uh, create your folder. So for example, this is going to be a secure folder. And from here, let's go ahead and click on save. And that should add our folder here. Now, if you want to add organizations, just click on new here and just click on collections. So in this case, uh, in this case, organizations are going to be uh, collections or uh, collections are going to be a group of organizations that you have. So for example, this is just going to be uh, for work. So this is a collection info. Uh, I have our external ID here if you want to add those. And this collection on, on there if you want those. In this case, let's just click on save here. And that should add our new collection itself. Now, yeah, so those are the things that you need to consider um, to uh, know in a bit wording here. So those are the basics to get you started. But yeah, so whenever you reload a bit wording here, it's going to ask you uh, ask you to re-enter your master password, which is something really cool, which adds additional layers of protection in your account, just in case you've uh, you've left your computer for a long, long time. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.